just share my screen, and what I'm going to do is just give you a little bit of idea about who we are up front, and then I want to go through a, a football play that um, that we run. So you guys, uh, just bear with me here. Um, but just a little bit about who we are. You can see our stance is there, a little more weight forward than most people. Um, but we're going to run the football, okay? And uh, this was uh, our O-line. We're pretty humble guys, but they posed for a picture after we went up 31-7 to on Army. Uh, and maybe if it weren't Army, maybe I'd have got pissed off, but I, I kind of like this picture. I think it's going to be hanging in my wall when we get going again. But we're the nation's elite rushing offense, um, and we've got numbers to back that up. Um, this, this past season, we're the 2019 FBS rushing champs. Uh, we've set school records two of the last three years. Uh, we rushed for 360.5 yards a game over 13 games this past year, and that's playing in a, a really, really good league in the AAC. That's playing Notre Dame. That's playing two other academies that understand our offense really well. Um, and that's we were 800 yards better than the second-place team in the country. Um, you know, we, we, there's this idea that we're a triple option football team, and, and that's kind of all we do. Um, we run a lot of inside zone. We run a lot of outside zone, a lot of gap schemes, a lot of traps. Um, so there's a little more to the story, and I'll talk about a, one of our plays here in just a second. Just kind of buzz through a few of these things. But just a, a little bit of just kind of the pride we take in what we do. So over the last 18 years since 2002, and I use that number because that's when Coach Nia Matalolo, our head coach, came back here as the assistant head coach and offensive line coach. Um, I've been here going on 13 years now coaching the line, but we've had six rushing titles in the last 18 years. Um, we were the first team in NCAA history to, to lead the nation in rushing three years in a row and then four years in a row, and then uh, obviously we've done it a few other times. Um, we have rushed for basically 312 yards a game since 2002. Okay, consistently. All right, and there's a football play I want to show you that's had a, a great, great uh, part of us doing that. Um, and before I get into that, I'll, I'll give you some numbers. So we started running basically an outside zone option in 2009. Okay, hopefully everybody hears me okay. Um, in 2009, Ricky Dobbs, our quarterback, it's kind of a quarterback kind of centered play. He rushed for 27 rushing touchdowns that year, and he broke Tim Tebow's record for the most rushing touchdowns in a season by a quarterback. Uh, a couple years after him, Keenan Reynolds came here. He was a four-year starter. He has 88 rushing touchdowns. That's the most in uh, FBS history. He has the most rushing yards by a quarterback in FBS history. He's got the most rushing touchdowns in a game, and he has the most rushing touchdowns in a season. Uh, in FBS history. Uh, the following year, Will Worth was a backup quarterback for us. Our starting quarterback tore his ACL. Will Worth rushed for 25 rushing touchdowns, and he didn't play in the last three games of the year. So he didn't play in four games, and he had 25 rushing touchdowns. Uh, and then this past season, Malcolm Perry uh, rushed for over 2,000 yards. He was the first quarterback in FBS history to ever do that in a season. Um, so. Our quarterbacks, you know, over the last 10 or 12 years have just been super dynamic guys, super athletic guys, and we try to do everything we can to keep the ball in their hands, okay? And I'm just going to go straight to some film, and I want to show you this play. It's, a, in my opinion, a heck of a football play. Um, and we will talk a little bit about this. And you don't have to particularly be a, an option football team to run this, okay? All right, so what the, what the football play is, and um, – is a outside zone option, okay? So it's just a zone option, and we're running outside zone, and we're really running, um, we're really running, uh, hold up a second here. We'll make sure. We're really running kind of the old Denver Broncos scheme, okay? But it's a quarterback run play, and, and kind of the basic uh, concept of the play is it's versus an odd front, we're going to run basically outside zone, and we're going to deal the ball off of this outside linebacker here in an odd front, okay? We'll arc the perimeter, so the, the slot here will arc the run support. The wide out will block the deep defender, and the fullback has the basically the play side linebacker 
You know, up front, we're running outside zone. So this is kind of the genesis of the play. And I'll just let this roll, but this is really not what I wanted to, to show you here. Um, but this is against K-State in the bowl game. And I'll give it to you. It's not a, not a great job by our, our left tackle here. All right, but they stem here to, to an odd front. And basically what we're doing on this play, quarterback check just got us in a good play here. But basically all we're doing here is we're running outside zone, okay? We're scooping the backside. The quarterback's going to pitch off of this outside linebacker, okay? And obviously we've got to pitch back. And then the fullback's going to run the levels for the, for the Mike linebacker. Uh, and then we are up the perimeter, but this is just kind of the genesis of the play. The, the left tackle could obviously have done a better job there. He's kind of working inside when he doesn't need to be. Um, but that's really, like I said, not really not what I was wanting to show you the play for that look, all right? But is what has happened is it's become a great goal line and short yardage play, and the play is typically run out of kind of – we call it a flex set, but we take our wide receiver. We don't play with a lot of tight ends and we get him in a, a tight alignment, okay? And we can run it versus an odd front. We can run it versus an even front. We can run it versus 4-3. We can run it versus, you know, 4-2-5. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then we communicate it upside, um, inside here. <clears throat> but, the, again, what we're doing here is this is the purest form of it, okay, is we're bringing motion across, okay, and this guy is basically the kick guy. Okay, so he's going to block the run support guy coming off the edge, okay? All right, the wide receiver here is going to block this outside linebacker. And then again, up front, we're just going to run outside zone, and this slot is going to work the levels, and then this fullback's going to run the levels. So obviously there's a lot of bodies going over here to the right, okay? There is no option on this particular football play, okay? You can run it out of the shotgun. You can run it with a tight end. And you got a really good dynamic guy. You got an extra hat in there by using the fullback and getting the back across. But this play has been just a, a really, really good football play for us over the years. I'll slow this down again. The wide receiver is going to block the outside linebacker. We're going to zone the four technique and work the levels, scooping it backside. And what we let this slot do here, this play side slot, is he's going to try to work this five technique area okay if this guy becomes a five technique he's basically going to deliver him and they're going to kind of roll this five technique off and he can work off to an inside backer but if this outside linebacker here pinches okay what he'll do is he'll work the levels he just kind of works off this wide receiver's block to a linebacker okay but again we're using the motion guy here to basically be the the trap guy, okay, and again, just it's almost just kind of student body right here, just trying to, you know, to outnumber them here. This was late in the game. We did not want to pitch the football. We didn't want any option going on right here. But this is just they know what's coming. Here it is. Come stop it, um, and, and we're just going to see if we can get a, they can get enough hats over there to stop it. Obviously, we got great play action pass off of it. We also have option off of it we can run. All right, this is late in the game against Air Force, and it's really to, to win the football game. Just a few seconds left. It's kind of the same concept. All right, but this play, as you can tell, we have motion by the backside slot. Okay, we could kick the ball off of this corner. Okay, so if this corner really came hard off the edge, this is a true option play where we could now take the ball, pitch off the first guy outside the wide receiver's block and make this an option play. And then the fullback could run the levels, okay, maybe to the safety. All right. <clears throat> but again, to win the football game, I think they had a pretty good idea. Uh, it was coming. All right, my, my video's getting a little choppy here. All right, but again, this is a true option play. Now, what happens is when the wide receiver goes to block this outside linebacker and he opens up and gets outside, obviously the quarterback sees that and he's going to just tuck it inside. So it would kind of eliminate this option uh, outside here. But, again, it's just outside zone blocking up front. 
Okay, our slot and our B-backs are running to levels. And again, um, you know, the proof's in the pudding. We, we basically have six of the top 10 rushing uh, quarterback seasons in, in college football history. Okay. <clears throat> and as I go through this, I'll get you some, uh, you know, some looks for some, some even fronts as well. All right, against Notre Dame, pretty good crew here. All right, again, when this guy comes across, again, typically he is, you know, if we were running this and this was an option play, we would block here, we would run our zone scheme here. All right, this guy would come around, and this 28 here, this corner, would be our pitch guy. That's who we would deal the ball off, okay? Typically, when we bring this guy across, there's going to be no option involved. Now, we obviously can run plays back the other way. We can bring this guy around in motion. Uh, once this guy gets set, we have play action to take care of all that. But again, just a really, really good football play. All right, it can hit inside, it can hit outside. And it's just uh, getting the ball in a dynamic runner's hands, okay, and getting him at the point of attack. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this from the end zone. And then I'll try to get you a few more looks in here against different looks. All these were odd to start with. All right, our, our, I don't know, really know what our left tackle is doing right here, okay, but the, the slot kind of, kind of bails him out there to get this play started. I don't really know why he stepped with his inside foot. Um, and all right. but again, obviously helps having a dynamic runner. Uh, and they don't look, doesn't look like there's a lot of creases in there, but there are. All right, and I think we have here versus, a, uh, versus an even front, versus SMU. You see there on the scoreboard, we were kicking our butt there for a while. All right, so I'll, I'll go through this as we get going. All right, again, now running this, first and even front, I'll, I'll kind of talk you through this. All right, <clears throat> so what we do here, <clears throat> first and even front, versus, versus four, three defense is this wide receiver is gonna block, okay, the outside linebacker. 16 is now our pitch guy. Okay, now we'll run just basically outside zone here and these two guys We'll work the five technique up to the Mike backer. Okay, we're going to base the five. We try to zone this. It does look like they run a linebacker through here. Um, and we'll see how we did picking that up. There we go. Pretty good job by our, our center and our left guard handling that. But just it's just outside zone. All right. Our, again, the, the guy we're trying to pitch the ball off here is the corner. Now, here's the thing we'll do. Okay, so obviously we'll, we'll try to pitch the ball off this guy at times, but then the safety will fit up outside of it, okay? And then if you get the ball pitched, you really can't get to the safety. So it looks like what we had on here was, again, a outside zone play, and we were just using the fullback as the trap guy to kick out the support guy. So, again, even though there's the illusion that there's an opportunity to run option here, there is no option, okay? So it's just outside zone with the quarterback. Okay, and versus an even front, these guys just get up to the line of scrimmage and communicate and let each other know that they're working the five technique to the mic. These guys communicate that they're obviously working the gaps here. All right, the wide receiver always, you know, when we tag it this way, is blocking the outside linebacker, okay, or the overhang player. All right, and then if that guy goes, he doesn't do a great job there. He should have kept working the levels up to the mic linebacker. another look here all right again looks looks to me like this just peeking at this I put this together quickly I apologize but again it's zone option they're working the five we're running zone here the wide receiver is blocking this overhang player the fullback is trapping okay the corner here or the support player we're given the illusion of option but this is a quarterback run play entirely okay and with this guy here it's just uh you know the the two technique or the three technique does a good job kind of getting outside of that but this guy is about a step away all the time of hitting the sideline and having a chance to go 
Uh, again, a draft pick by the, the uh, Miami Dolphins. All right, but this play, I'm just, I'll just get it to you. This play has, since we started running it in about 2009, has just really kind of transformed our offense. Um, it's allowed us to use a lot more motions. It's allowed us to get creative with sets. It's allowed us to, uh, you know, change formations. You know, if you came here before 2008, it was a pretty simple triple option, zone dive, counter option, midline option. Uh, but this play is just kind of keeps growing and growing and growing as the years go by. Uh, but it's just been a, a heck of a football player play for us. All right. I think, that, again, this is late in the game against Army. Uh, we're basically trying to run the clock out. All right. We're using motion here just to get this play started. Again, looks like the, the corner tries to come underneath a little bit. Not much there. Maybe you'd like for him to stick it inside there, pound it out for a few few yards. Again, it's outside zone. Center's got the A-gap. All right, great job by the play side tackle. He's zoning the four technique to the backside linebacker. And obviously it helps um, when, you, when you QB can do this and just outrun them all to the sideline and score. But again, just finding a way to get the ball in your best player's hands finding a way to do it without having to run option, uh, trying to find a way to do it where, you know, when you, you run a lot of triple, you don't know who's going to get the football, okay? And we try to put our best football player taking that snap every, every down so he can have the ball in his hands. And it's just another way to, to, you know, get the ball in a dynamic guy's hands where you don't have to, you know, have to take it out of his hands. And then you can just about fit up any look that you got out there, okay? Give you a couple more of these here. Against Kansas State, again on a short yardage. Um, he just about came out of this one too. All right, and, and what you go, what you'll see too is, is if if I showed it and if I had it on, I mean, you got the whole football team hitting right here, okay. And it becomes, it becomes a point in time where if the defenses are going to stop it, unless they just got somebody manhandling us up front, is you've got to get more people involved. And what you got to do is you got to get, you got to get these safeties involved. You got to get the corners down. And obviously, you could just look right here and just kind of imagine the play action passes you could get, crossing routes, wheel routes, all those things. Okay, so we can get guys open as well. Uh, don't throw the ball a lot because we obviously understand who we are. We're trying to win football games. Um, but we typically average, you know, yards per completion first or second in the country, kind of year in and year out. Um, but we will just pound the ball in there, pound the ball in there, pound the ball in there, make people overcommit to the run, and then we'll, we'll slip one behind them. Um, let me get out of that. But really just that one play is what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, and I know we were running a little bit behind schedule and I had some diagrams and all that kind of stuff. So I figured I would just go to that. Um, but, but maybe uh, again, just anything that I could, could uh, answer for you guys, but we are, we're an option football team. We're going to run our dang quarterback. Um, we're going to run him in any which way we can. We, if there's an option known to man, we'll run it. Uh, this year, we, we, we got real creative off our trap. We run a long trap. We started running trap with, a, with the read on the backside, like zone read teams, uh, because it affected the pulling guard, got the, the backside linebacker over the top. Uh, we started reading midline out the backside of it, so we would we'd run trap to the right, and the quarterback would read the three technique or the four technique backside. Uh, again, because the, what's the linebacker going to do? Is he going to play over the top for the trap? With the, um, with the pulling guard, or he's going to sit backside for a quarterback coming the other way. Uh, we got in the shotgun, and we ran trap to the right and had triple option coming out the backside of it. Uh, but if you can think of, of an option player, you can dream of an option player, imagine an option player, we're going to do it. Um, why do we do it? We're not going to have as good of players as, as everybody in our league. 
Uh, we're not going to have as good of players as Notre Dame when we play them. So our job um, is, is pretty simple. It's how can we compete against these guys we're going to play against. One, one way to do it is, is pretty obvious. Don't block the really good players, okay? Uh, and that's what option football allows you to do. And then the other thing is just to be super unique and to be different. Uh, and there is no identity crisis at the Naval Academy on offense. We're an option football team, proud of it. Uh, hold our chest out about it. Uh, a lot of people don't like to say that in our profession anymore. They, they run from it and all that kind of stuff. But we are who we are, uh, and the proof is in the pudding. But, uh, Drew, any questions there? Um, I can share my email and my phone number in the uh, chat line. I didn't, I didn't pull a thing up. I know you guys are running behind, and you got some guys that are probably a lot, lot better presenting than me coming up. So I appreciate your time. Oh. Yeah.